Hey guys, Chad Hoover, and today I'm going to tell y'all how to mount a Yak Attack gear track. All right, so guys, here's the deal. The Yak Attack gear track is pretty simple to mount, but believe it or not, I get a lot of questions on how to do it. So here we go. The Yak Attack gear track comes with the instructions right on the tab at the top, and this is the GT175, and this is the top loading track. I'll explain what that means in a minute. But this is the eight inch track. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount it on the front hatch so that I've got some accessory mounting options on the front of my SS-127 from Bonafide. So here's what we do. Break it down real simple. The instructions are on the back of the pack, but it tells you you need an eighth ounce, eighth ounce, eighth inch drill bit. Simply position your track where you'd like it to go. I'm gonna show you how to mount one on this hood and then I'm gonna show you how to mount one directly to the kayak. So what I'm doing here is I'm positioning this where I'd like it to go take that drill bit and I'm gonna pop a hole in there okay what I like to do is do one hole at a time a lot of people like to drill all the holes the problem for me is with the boat flexing you always end up with a little bit of misalignment when you do that so I like to do them one at a time so simply take your screw BAM it's that simple just drill it right in and then what I like to do is I'm kind of anal about my alignment so I'm gonna get on there, make sure it's kind of perfect, get that thing exactly where I want it. And then I'm gonna to go to the opposite side and I'm gonna drill that hole. I like like tightening lug nuts on a tire. And for those of you that have never changed a tire, you can look up tightening lug nuts on a tire. You do it in a star pattern, okay? So I'm gonna simply center my drill bit, drill another hole in there. Kind of ream it out a little bit to get that extra plastic out. And then take your next screw. These are self-tappers. So you're just gonna pop it in the hole. Now you don't wanna over tighten it. You just wanna get it to where when it first hits, if you keep spinning it, it can just ream the hole out. But by and large, you almost can't do that. So set your torque setting on your drill super low. I got mine on three. So then all you have to do is just one hole at a time Drill a hole, kind of get that shavings out of there. Drop your screw in there. And we're gonna do this real time so you can see how easy it is to mount a Yak Attack gear track and like how fast it actually happens. So once I've got four of them in there, then I'll go ahead and do them two at a time. Drill my hole, get that in place, take my screw, drill it in. Take my other screw, pop it in there. It really is that simple. So don't be intimidated about drilling holes in your kayak. I mean, it's just a hole. And unlike other holes that you might drill in your kayak, you're gonna fill this one back up with a self-tapping screw. So it's really not that big a deal. The good thing about these self-tapping screws is there's no need to have access to the back. You don't have to use a rigging bullet. You don't have to get a hole in your kayak to get to the inside and you can pretty much mount these dudes anywhere. So the other great thing about these self tappers is they're self sealing. So when you use the right size drill bit, making your pilot hole, when they go in, they also seal the hole. Now, by and large, you're probably asking yourself, why in the heck are you mounting a gear track up at the front? Real simple reason for that. I do a lot of filming. So I'm mounting my gear track at the front so that I can do this. So that I can mount my camera pole up in the front. I can mount my shorter camera pole up in the front. But this is something that I came up with that I'm pretty excited to try out. I'm taking the Yak Attack Roto Grip. And just so you guys see what this is, here's what she looks like right there. It's the Roto Grip paddle holder. But I actually use it for a lot more than a paddle holder. So we're gonna slide this dude right in the track right there. We're gonna tighten it up. I'll explain to you what this is in just a second. Looks like the UPS guy's bringing some more toys. But you're just gonna tighten that thing up until you're about right yonder. Let me figure out what I'm getting from Mr. UPS and I'll be right back. You guys don't go anywhere. What we got, man? Goodies. Who we got? Catch products. Hey, thanks, man. All right, so the reason that I mounted this to the front of the kayak is I had this idea that I wanted to be able to put accessories up here. Now, first and foremost, I'm gonna put the shorter camera pole here for the front view version of the camera when I'm filming and it's going to come into play 
uh, especially when I start doing the cutaways for the depth finder videos that I'm doing uh, a little bit later in the spring and early summer. Now, here's what I really did this for. I want to be able to drop a boom stick from Yak Attack either off the front like this and secure it with this gear tie to where I don't have to worry about it going anywhere to where I can get the upside down underwater kind of snaking through the grass and the lily pads. I want to get that fish that jumps right at the bow of the boat. I want to extend it down below the surface of the water and get that hook set right at the bow. I want to get that fish struggling so that I can show you guys that action. The other thing I want to do is kind of angle it up and get that standing up casting shot where I set the hook and you can see me up in the sky in the background because that's about the best way to get that vantage point of the standing up shot. So I obsess about this stuff a lot of times at night at two o'clock in the morning when I'm watching ridiculousness reruns. And so this is what I came up with. So I mounted this gear track on the front. Let's talk about this dude real quick. So again, this can be mounted on here in a number of different ways, but we're really not talking about that right now. We're talking about the gear track and this roto grip. Now, again, here's the roto grip, comes a little package. It's actually called a paddle holder, but I use it for a lot of other, other stuff as well. Now, a couple years ago, I came up with this idea. And I think some other people came up with it at the same time. And so I don't really know whose idea it is originally, but I put this little bungee ball holder on there and then you pull it over the top of something and capture it and it holds it in place. Here's the problem with that. Okay, I'm big on stealth. And this thing has driven me crazy, but I came up with the idea and it's a good idea, but I haven't come up with anything better. So I've been stuck with this. I've been stuck with this on the outside and that thing just plopping the side of the boat. So when I found these little gear ties that have this little loop on the end, it was ideal. So let me just show you what I did here. So this is a gear tie from Night Eyes, okay? These little flexible coily things, and they've got this little eye on the end right there. Here, let me come over here and show you guys. Just stay right there, Sam. It's got this little eye on the end of it. You see that? You see that eye? You did play on the words right there? Eye, eye, do you see that eye? I. How are we looking, Sam? Are we good? Are we looking good? All right, cool. All right, so you take that little eye, and you take the tail of this gear tie, and you come in through the side right there, like that. You go through the eye, and then you cinch this down. What's really cool about this is you get one-handed operation. Let me show you. Unlike the ball, which usually takes two hands, you drop that thing in there, you take this hand, one-handed. One-handed undo, same thing, put it back in there. It's a one-handed operation. You don't have to have two hands to do it, and it locks it securely in place. So there's gear ties from Night Eyes. I'll put the link in the description box on where you can find those dudes. They're awesome, I use them for everything. We're about to show you the full kayak setup, and I've got them tucked in all kinds of little cool places. And you'll never see them unless I tell you about it, so I'm gonna tell you about it, because if I don't, you'll never see it. So really, that's it. That's how quick. It is to mount a Yakutek gear track. Now, there's all kinds of stuff that can go in there. You can say, hey, look, I want to put my throwback lure on a rod and stick it in the center and have it angled off to the side. So you could do that. You see what I'm saying? Like you could put anything on there. Again, I'm primarily doing it for camera poles, but you could put a rod holder on there, which I actually do when I don't film. I throw a rod holder on there. I'm going to show you what I do, actually. And I put it facing backwards and I press up and lock it off to the side. And when I'm fishing this way, I've got the rod sticking that way with the lure dangling off the end. If I throw in a topwater lure or I miss a fish and they blow up, I'll drop that rod or I'll grab the other rod and switch it and have it sticking out there out of my way and then cast the throwback lure in there. So it works great for that. Works great for a lot of other different things, but primarily I've got this up here for getting to different camera angles and for setting the boat up. And uh, yeah, that's what I put it on there for. Anyway, guys, that's it. How to install a Yak Attack gear track. That is an eight incher. It's just as easy to install a 12 or 16 or however long you want to install. Uh, and it's even easier to install a four inch. So give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Check out yakattack.us. Check out all their awesome accessories. I'm gonna tell you about some more in a bit, but that is how to install a Yak Attack gear track. It really is that simple. Actually guys, you know what? I've got one more idea and I was gonna bring that to you in a separate video, but let's go ahead and do it. Um, because one of the first questions is going to be, does it install that easy in the kayak itself? So let's jump back here in the back. I'm going to install a four inch gear track on the kayak that is going to use a roto grip to hold my boger grip. Here we go. Let's just uh, walk on back to the back back here. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my seat forward on my SS-127. Here's the idea that I had. I'm gonna mount this track right here. I'm making use of dead space. I've got actually a couple of ideas for this, but for this particular one, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna just take this track right to the edge, and you'll see why when I'm done. And I'm gonna center it up, and I'm gonna pop my first hole in there. Like I said before, once you pop that first hole in there, don't drill more holes until you got it in there, but it really is that simple. You just pop it into the boat, see how I left it loose a little bit, then I'm gonna line this thing up perfectly, press down on it, I'm gonna go to the opposite side, center my drill bit, drop another hole in there, take that trash out of the way, put my screw on there, drop it in the hole, find the pilot, and it's that simple. Once I tighten that second screw, I'll go back and tighten my first one, then I'm going to drill my third and fourth holes just like that. And again, especially on these smaller tracks where alignment's an issue, I'm going to put my screws in one at a time, then drill my next hole. And guys, you're seeing this real time. That's all it is to installing a four inch Yak Attack gear track. Now, here's what I'm going to do I'm going to take this Roto Grip paddle grip hold, paddle holder. I'm gonna slide it into this track, and I'm kinda gonna make use of some dead space, okay? So what I'm doing, so I'm gonna get this rotor grip in there and lock it in. Once I lock it in, I'm gonna use this to shoot some sideways camera stuff. I'm gonna put the pole in there, lock it in place, and have it stick off to the side and shoot down the boat, stick it the other way, and try some different stuff. But the primary purpose for it is I've got this boga grip on this retainer, I want to make it easy to grab and I don't want to use up my track on the side of the boat. And so I just put that there and lock that boga right in place. It makes it quiet. It's not banging around the boat. It's not hitting anything. And I could just reach under my seat or I can swing side straddle, reach over the top, pop it out of there, hook my fish up, hang it off to the side till I'm ready to put it on the catch board and submit it to whatever tournament I'm in. But the Roto Grip paddle holder is not just for paddles. So as you can see here, my Roto Grip is my boga grip holder and it's making use of dead space right there under the seat. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple.